altar room tour slash Samhain altar tour just to kind of show you what my setup is this year um, I'm still working on this room and I will definitely give you guys an updated tour once everything is different I have stuff more up on the walls and I'm looking to get a few different pieces of furniture so this might be gone at some point but at the moment this is kind of just what I have at the moment um, I'm hoping to organize my books down here a little bit better uh, so it looks cuter so I can film on the floor and I'm looking to do a little um, rug set up here too so and I also have my fireplace here um, I got permission to get it put up on the wall so I'm really excited but yeah this is kind of my space it's literally just the foyer into um, my house um, it's the only space that we had spare so my partner allowed me to have it but yeah we literally come into the door here that's the garage and then over here is the front door so um, this is kind of what I have set up here super cute so far so at the moment I have a little um, cute fortune telling sign set up I have my glass pen and inks and some crystals that I want to work with this season i'm looking to do a crystal gridding for some support in a working i want to do for healing and of course i got these really cute autumn um, decor from the dollar store and i love them little pumpkins everywhere and to be honest i i have these pumpkins out almost all the time um I mean, I like to leave them out all year long. So what I have right now is my crystals, my inks, my tarot cards, which I love very much. This is the perfect time of year for them. They are definitely a Halloween energy. I have contemplated painting over these for years. However, I just love using them this time of year, so I'm gonna probably keep them this way and then just make my own oracle deck in a different way. Next, I have my ritual oils that I'm working with this time of year. I have Coven, which I developed this year. And it's really pretty. It has this purple luminescence to it. And um, this is dedicated to all the witches and magical practitioners throughout history to help me connect to them when I'm doing my workings. So every time I do a working, I put this on. It's a bit of a power booster, connect you to your ancestors. And yeah, I just, I really love this one. This will be up on my shop once I launch. So if you're interested in that, um, that will be there. I also have my psychic protection oil. This is something especially important this time of year, but even throughout the year. So I'll be doing a video later in the month showing you how I created this and how you can create your own. And definitely if you wanna go check out how I created Coven, I have a base recipe for that. Um, and then you kind of can customize it towards yourself. However, if you want the one that I've crafted and blessed and enchanted, then you can find that one on my shop. And all of my oils and things I show you on the altar today are going to be in my shop. Next, I have my book of shadows. This is the book that I write in for when I'm doing any type of shadow work or um, deep journaling, um, trauma work, all of that, darker uh, themed things. So I'm loving the look of this book. It looks like such an old tome and I'll definitely be buying more of these. Maybe I will stain another one and to make it a different color, maybe like a red or a brown stain. I think that'd be pretty. I have my little skull jar. This is just to represent ancestors and the dead and the energy of this time of year. Stay tuned because I will be making an ancestor oil for this season and that will be up pretty soon in October. So you'll see how I make this. Then I have just my little drum my best friend made me. It is made um, by the practices of indigenous practice. So I haven't played it yet. I have to find 
a drum implement that calls to me and I have to craft it myself before I'm allowed to play it. Um, but it's really pretty. I love that he did it by himself, by hand, and wove everything together. So I love this. Of course, I have my cauldron here where I burn all of my incense. And then I have this little witchy hat candle. And I'm hoping to do a power boosting spell with this. So stay tuned for that later in the month. Um, this is going to be more of connecting to my inner witch power and healing my witch wounds that I may have not uncovered yet. So this is going to be a really fun spell. Then of course I have my salt lamp, which I love so much, and my candle for the season. This is um, my grounding candle. I'll be using it for protection in the home, um, and I'll be blessing the home with this and a couple other candles just like it throughout the month to anchor the home on the next new moon. And that is just my setup at the moment. And I know you've all seen my ink set and glass pen before, but I'm really excited for this, for this time of year. I do all of my workings with glass pen, especially this time of year, and I love to use these. So either I use this or the natural vegetable inks that I make, depending on the working and if it's going to be buried. These ones, I would just burn the petitions. Um, or keep them in a safe spot um, till they manifest and then burn them. But if they are going in the ground, I definitely use my vegetable inks. And I'm going to keep these um, for when they're empty and I'll use them for my vegetable inks, which is a great way to reuse these because they're so pretty while well, I get rid of them. Over here is just my regular working altar. For the moment, I'm using this dresser, and down below has all of my supplies in the top two drawers. And then the bottom two drawers are like arts and craft stuff and my uh, dishware and stuff. So this is just my working altar at the moment. On the right, I have a small setup for my money altar, which I'll be moving around soon. Uh, then I have a candle for Mercury, and then I have Artemis's statue, my beautiful jewelry box my boyfriend gave me when we first started dating. So I'll be doing a manifestation box with this towards the end of the month as I prepare for the witch's new year to come and prepare some larger manifestations that I'd like to have. Um, I learned about this from Ivy the Occultist channel where she did one for herself, so I'm excited to do this for myself. Um, a book of Egypt's prosperity magic, which I love very much, and I'll be diving into that more as I explore the Egyptian pantheon. I have my incense burner, and then just a little crystal cleansing station. So it's cleansing and charging some crystals and a little charm that I have created in that little vial. So we have my sphinx and pyramids that one of my co-workers gave me before I left my old job. And then over here is the money corner. I'm going to be doing a whole new video with this and it'll look completely different. This is just a temporary one. So I have my liquid luck inspired by Ivy the Occultist. Um, and then I have fast cash oil. And then my little money al altar bowl and, and, then my money, and then my money altar bowl. Some orange blossom water which is really, really good for prosperity and money workings. And then of course, my, my money tree here. My little money guardian dragon that I got. He's fool's gold, which I love very much. And he guards my wealth. Now the liquid luck I will not be sharing. This is a 
private recipe of one of my friends so feel free to make your own version of this idea however that recipe is private unless she decides to divulge it and this is kind of my setup at the moment i have kind of like film stuff everywhere i have a fireplace that's electric that i'm allowed to mount on the wall i would love to get that mounted somewhere i just don't know really where to put it i would love your guys's input on that um this is kind of like my sitting area and i'm hoping to get a bookshelf somewhere um my little monkey my uncle gave me when i was little and this is just like my yoga and um, fitness stuff in here. So I have to organize that. Um, and then I just have some precious pillows. So my grandma made me this uh, from one of my grandfather's shirts when he passed away, which I love very much. And then some of his pins that he's collected over the years. Kind of like the setup here i'm not really sure what to do here if you guys have any ideas let me know i would love to start filming here more often as a more of a cozy sit down eventually i would love to have um book like more bookshelves here maybe taller ones or um like some kind of like chester cabinet with doors um for holding my apothecary stuff and then over here, I would love to have a secretary desk. I just have a lot of blank walls at the moment. So any suggestions, let me know. I'm hoping to do a painting or two for over my altar setup, um, my background of my filming and all of that, and just to make it look more like homey. And I'm hoping to hang this little chalk painting one of my aunts did. She's like my great aunt and she did this all by hand with chalk, which is, it's so beautiful, so I definitely want to hang it up. This a little bit more cutesy. I tried a little bit here, but it's kind of a mess down here right now. All right, that is all for this year's Samhain altar tour, my lovelies. Thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you gleaned some inspiration for your own altars. And if you are going to be doing your own Samhain altar share, definitely link me down in the comments below so I can check it out. I would love to see your altars. And make sure if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. I post several times a week and I'm posting a whole lot this month, a lot more than normal. And if you've not yet heard yet, I have launched a Patreon. So if you'd like to support me in that way, definitely go check it out. There is tiers for everyone where you're able to help support me do more and bigger, better work here on YouTube to be able to create more tutorials and upgrade my software. And you also get a whole lot of behind the scenes and freebies and stuff that, you know, the general public will just not get where I'm more comfortable sharing my practice and you also get benefits that others won't have such as my witchy book club and my witchy lunar like gatherings and stuff like that so definitely go check that out and um let me know what you would like to have in the patreon and maybe I can add some more perks to that and I love you all so very much and I will see you in the next video bye